Well, once again, it's a beautiful day down here on the shore. Uh, there is another sea glass around the shore right now, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and check out that wash area, which looks to have a lot of rock to sift through, and then further on down the beach, where there also seems to be a lot of rock. So stick with me. Well, I'm not even into the wash area yet. I'm just walking over and I found that gorgeous, gorgeous yellow right there. Unbelievable. Um, I'm looking around. I thought I'd just seen the red as I started recording. Oh my goodness. Beautiful green right here. Look at that. <laughs> so, spark plug. Part of a, I'm guessing a piece of a lobster trap or something. You can see the grooves there. Uh, some old pottery, uh, the bottom of a bowl or something, and now that green. But I thought I seen a red right over here. I'm gonna look through the wash area. I'm gonna be very careful uh, down here today because I ran out the door in my shoes. I forgot to bring my boots. So I'm gonna look through uh, these rocks here as best as I can without getting soaked and hope I can find some more beauties. Absolutely spectacular. Wow. Wow, that is a neat piece. Wow. And uh, I'll be back with you momentarily. Wow, just absolutely beautiful with these waves rolling in as such. Just beautiful. Now I'm down here in the wash area and I'm running back and forth and I'm a little freaked out because I, I am in my shoes as I've said, but I found some beautiful pieces down here. Look at that beautiful blue. I'm not sure what that is, if it's a cyan blue or what, but it is gorgeous. Uh, some milk glass, some bottle bottom, old stone pottery, and a sharper shard of cobalt blue, which of course I will toss back to the ocean. Wow, absolutely beautiful day here on the shores of Cape Breton Island. So I've found this gorgeous aqua right there and this wish rock that I've saved to give my daughter because she absolutely loves climbing those when we come to the beach together. Uh, but not much more in that wash area. I'll likely just walk to the end of the beach now as I don't like to film around other people when I'm here. And I'll just show you what I find at the end of my beach walk. And hopefully, even though there's lots of people now on the beach, I'll find myself that elusive marble that I've been after for days now coming to the beach. An old piece of stone pottery and I dropped my tiny green but uh, an old piece of stone pottery. Beautiful. Isn't that neat? You never know what you'll find here on the shore. Wow. The seaweed and the sand flies are out of this world but there's only a little bit of shoreline here to search so I'll make my way through them anyhow I'm just about at the end of my sea glass journey here um, there's even more people on the beach now than there was earlier and uh, I've made my way to the end here, as you can see. A few more small rock piles to, to go through. Um, but none too close to the cliffs. And then um, I'll be finished. Looks like a big hunk of steel of some sort. Part of a grate. I'm not really sure. 
It's not that great to me, is what I'm saying. Oh. It looks like some hagstones uh, down in this area here. So I'll also look around for a few hagstones, I guess, before I go. Uh, I like to collect the hagstones, the, the smaller ones. But I'll show you what I found here on my way down the beach. Now, I've got a handful. So I've got this old piece of television tube, uh, some brown, some more gorgeous aqua, uh, some old stone pottery, which if I flip this over, you can see it's uh, two different colors. This hair, gorgeous green. At first I thought it was a uh, base filler or something, but it's shaped very irregular, so it can't be a base filler, but uh, it would be the perfect heat set for a ring. Tired from kicking through the rocks and ready to uh, call it a day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. From the shores of Cape Breton Island, I'll leave you now with the sounds of the ocean. Happy hunting.